First, I'll show you my settings. Basically, it's 1080 low, low using FSR 2.2 performance. I have the Streets of Tarkov lower texture resolution mode enabled. I don't use any post FX. If you want to change your color, I recommend that you do it at a hardware level. So on a device like this, you can open up the AMD Adrenaline software and change the color from there. That's how I do it. I actually change the color intensity and bump it up about 25%. So I'm going to turn on binaural audio. I've heard that it works better than regular audio. I've never tested it myself, so I'm starting to use it now. Haven't really felt a difference yet, but we'll see. So I'm going to go into a scav run. I'll hit interchange. This is a nice kind of lighter map. And in terms of the ally itself, I'm on 25 watt turbo mode. I'm not plugged in, so I can't run the full 30 right now. All right, so I'm out here on interchange. We're hitting about 40 FPS. And I'm just going to go through all my key binds here. And just as a disclaimer, I'd call this kind of like my beta build of my key bind set. It doesn't have all the functions yet. And this is my first time using it as a handheld rather than attaching a dock and using a mouse and keyboard. But I think I've got all the major controls mapped to places that make sense. And for me, I think it's enough for me to do scav runs. I wouldn't try and go fight PMCs on this control scheme. But as something like a passive scav run or for uh, stash management, it works really well. I've been using it today. I've been using it all day. So I've got the F key mapped here to my Y button. And the left click is the R button. So you can drag items. I have the control button mapped to this back button right here. It's M2. And if I, if I hold that and click, I can automatically bring those items over into my inventory. Also, I've mapped two, three, four, and five to the D-pad so that you can quickly access your weapons and meds or whatever you wanna assign to these slots here. So I'm gonna put it on four and I have escape mapped to B so I can get out of my inventory if I want to go back into my inventory, tab is mapped to my right click on the thumbstick. So I can get into my inventory. I've got a wallet here. Let's see if there's anything in it. Nothing. And what I'd like to do is throw this flare. So I'm going to get out into an open area, throw the flare. While we're talking, the WASD is mapped to the left joystick, as you can see. Movement is really clean. If I click the left joystick down, then I can start sprinting. I have it on toggle. Aim. All right, so I'm going to switch over to my weapon. If I want to ADS, I can hit L. I have it on toggle as well. And I have a secondary function mapped to the triggers so that if I were to hold down this button, it's going to enable the secondary functions I've mapped. And in order to lean, I've made it so that I have to hold down the secondary and then I can use the triggers to lean left and right. Okay. So as you can see, it's not fully ideal, but for a passive scav run like this, it's more than enough. And it feels really cool to play on a handheld. It's pretty, it's pretty crazy. So that's F. If you want to grab anything or loot anything, it's it's the Y button right here. Okay. So I've got a Coca-Cola. I'm going to drink that. Oops. Now I don't have free look mapped yet. I will be that's one I need to figure out where I want to map it. 
I think the more I use this control scheme, the more it's going to evolve over time. So like I said, this is version 0 0.1 and I will be tweaking it and making it better as I go along. So A is the jump. So one thing I found is that on the default settings, you cannot walk and shoot at the same time. Now if you look at my control scheme, I'm able to do that. The way that you need to, the way that you can enable that is by going into your Windows settings. So I'm going to go back and show my desktop. So get to the touchpad menu, hit taps, and for touch sensitivity, leave it on most sensitive. Any of these other settings will not allow you to move and shoot at the same time. Okay? So that's how I've enabled the ability to walk and shoot at the same time on the ROG Ally. The touch screen does function as well, so touching anywhere on the screen is like left clicking. Okay. Reload is mapped to X. I do not have a check ammo keybind yet. I don't have a switch to full or single fire button yet. I'm thinking I'll add a secondary keybind for those. But I think most of the primary functions I've got mapped here and it, it plays pretty smoothly and, it, and it's pretty comfortable to play on this device. So I'm going to get out here and I'm going to throw my flare here. And let's just wait for that thing. I don't have a crouch yet either. I need to I need to bind a crouch button. Ooh, nice. So I have not mapped a discard or alt button either. I had alt earlier, but I changed it to the secondary function. So to fast equip, the fastest way I found is to just right click it and then hit equip for now. I, I probably add an alt keybind as well. As I use this more, I will be tweaking it as I've said a couple times in the video. But for now, this is my basic 0 0.1 control scheme. And it works pretty well for a scav run and for stash management so far. I've also mapped the shoulder keys to scroll up and down. Holding it will repeatedly scroll up or scroll down. So this allows me to change my walking pace. I don't know if these should be mapped as primaries, so like I said, I'll be tweaking the controls as I go along. That's what I have for now. Let's see what this thing is. Also, I'm running in 25 watt turbo mode. I'm not plugged in. You can see my battery level here. I'm at 20% now. And the battery is losing about 32.5 watts per, I don't know if that's per minute or per second. I don't know what time frame that's in. There's my airdrop. Landed kind of far from where I was, but we'll see if we can get it. What we got? We're gonna go ahead and it's a bunch of bags, huh?
Well, yeah, you can. One cool thing is that you can also use it as a touch screen. So it's pretty nice for looting, too. It's not bad. Let's throw that in there, take whatever I can, and then we're going to get out. Okay, so I'm going to drop this bag. Let me equip this one. And hold control, click all these. Why not take them? All right, thank you for the airdrop. And we're gonna go ahead and get out. So I think in the next version of my keybind set, I will be adding a free look bind, a crouch and prone bind. I might switch up these shoulder functions. I probably need a switch to full or single keybind. But for the most part, this is pretty damn cool and it works pretty well. Okay, so like I said earlier, these are mapped to scroll. So if I just hold it, it'll scroll. If I also use a joystick, it kind of accelerates the scroll. That's kind of cool. Stash management is, I could actually see it being easier on a handheld device almost once I get used to the keybinds, especially combining it with uh, the touch screen functions is kind of it's kind of cool. So here's all that stuff from the airdrop. There's my PMC and Tarkov on the Rog Ally. It's not bad, man. So if you want to copy my keybinds or make your own, what you need to do is hit your Armory Crate button. Then you have to add Escape from Tarkov EXE manually. It only adds the Battlestate Games Launcher as the game. So you need to add Escape from Tarkov EXE manually. And then from here, once it's added, you can hit Game Profile. And this will allow you to create a controller profile for Tarkov specifically, okay? So here's how I have it mapped right now. For the left stick, it is WASD. Left shift key is the left click button. Directional pad is two, three, four, five. The ABXY buttons, X is R. Y is mapped to the F key. A is spacebar. B is escape. The right stick is mapped to the mouse cursor. The tab key is mapped to the right stick click. The left control key or M2 button when you're looking at the device is this one. So it's your left hand that touches the M2 and that's gonna be control. And then on my M1 button, I've mapped that as the secondary function enable button. So if I hold this down and any secondary functions are assigned to these buttons, then it's gonna enable that function instead of the primary function, okay? So that's how I have my lean buttons on the triggers when you normally left and right click. All right, so like I said a few times, this is my kind of 0.1 beta control set. I wanna try adding a crouch prone and free look as well as fire mode button. And then I also wanna mess around with the gyro for aiming, so. I will be updating my control set as I get to use it more. This is only my first day trying to mess around and make the controls. So I hope it's helpful for you in some way. Stay tuned because I'll be updating it as I use the device more and more. I hope this content was helpful, informative, educational, 
entertaining in some way. And I really appreciate you spending some of your time here. So thanks again, and I'll see you in the next one.